And at the last plenary session of this month, South Korea's National Assembly passed the much debated Nursing Act as well as a revision to the Medical Service Act. Our political correspondent, Yi Shi Hu, reports. The opposition controlled National Assembly at its plenary session on Thursday passed a contentious Nursing Act despite strong opposition from the ruling bloc. I declare the passing of the revision to the Nursing Act alternative with 179 approvals and two abstentions among the 181 present. Now in the 300-person assembly, 170 seats as of Thursday were occupied by the main opposition Democratic Party and 115 the ruling People Power Party. The members of the PPP did not participate in the vote, leaving the plenary chamber right before the voting after delivering speeches against the bill. It's expected the PPP will suggest President Yoon Song yeol veto the bill. The opposition-led Nursing Act seeks to improve nurses' working conditions by defining their roles and duties separately from the current Medical Service Act, which puts them, quote, under the guidance of physicians. It also defines the duties of nurses and nursing assistants separately. The act has been opposed by doctors and nursing assistant groups who fear the act will lead to confusion in the public health system. The groups have previously warned of a general strike in case the bill passes the plenary session. Also passed by the parliament on Thursday is a revision to the Medical Service Act, which seeks to revoke the licenses of medical doctors who have been found guilty of any crime that has led to imprisonment. With the PPP not participating in the vote in opposition, the bill passed with 154 approvals, one disapproval and 22 abstentions. The bill also seeks to revoke the license of a medical professional who has cheated on the national certification exam. The government and the PPP have proposed a plan of arbitration seeking to limit the types of crimes that would lead to disqualification to just three, medicine-related, sex offenses and violent crimes. But this was opposed by the opposition bloc. The parliament, however, was together in passing of the General Act on Overseas Koreans, which calls for policies to support and respect South Korean people living outside the country. The bill, which earned bipartisan approval with just one abstention, sets the basis for new policymaking for overseas Koreans. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.